and uh, in the similar way we are going to make the mesh for the outer domain and uh, for this outer domain basically we need the a uh, wake region where the vortices can be uh, simulated very correctly and with the precision so let's start with the method and i have given the sizes uh, in this figure for the coarse mesh and in the text form for the medium and the fine mesh so uh, i'm going to open the new project file first close this one okay import the model and this is going to be the outer and also uh, you have to process a name selection so click and apply okay so we have these uh, boundary conditions and if you display surfaces and points so you can see we have inlet and side one side two top and uh, the bottom is uh, basically is going to be the wall condition and uh, three other boundaries are going to be symmetry outlet will be pressure outlet and inlet will be the pre the velocity inlet okay so i will create the two more parts points okay so for the points we will be selecting all the points in the model in this way and similarly for the curves so short is c r v s and enable the selection for curves and disable selection for all other entities and click on these two uh, double sided crossing arrows and uh, now save project this is the outer domain and also we are going to make the uh, material point and this time this is going to be the fluid outer so fluid outer so select any two points like this so that so that uh, this point should be inside the domain like this and uh, you can also select the these two locations also like this okay so point can be anywhere but it should be it should be inside the inside the domain but should not be inside these boundaries because the flow for the outer domain will be around these boundaries and within these uh, six boundaries which are inlet outlet two sides top and the bottom okay so we have uh, this boundary with us and uh, one more thing that i'm going to work on is uh, to create the uh, body of influence for the outer domain so i'm going to use the uh, sketching mode before that i'm going to hide these surfaces i will keep only the bottom one okay okay so uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to select the sketching mode that is on the bottom plane and uh, you have to click on the y axis from the bottom side like this okay so i will be making the uh, geometry on the one side like this so this is going to be like in this way up to here and uh, maybe some angle like this okay so this much zone will be enough so but you can make it up to even outside of the, the outer boundary if the wake is uh, is you can see if the wake is being transported to the to the great length but right now for the this uh, workshop purposes i will be keeping over up to here okay and uh, now i will be using the uh, the mirror command and i will copy these lines so choose this and this line okay and i will be trimming this line from here and i will make the lines between these two points and also these two points and now end the sketching mode and go back to the 3d mode by clicking over here okay so we have this boundary okay so now you can hide this boundary 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to extrude this boundary and uh, I will keep the uh, no merge option selected and it should be uh, up to some distance over this geometry. Okay, so I'm going to make it like this. The best way would be that uh, since we know that distance from this to the bottom boundary is how much? is uh, we can check it here 295.5 so uh, I'm going to make one plane and that plane will be here and I will move this plane by distance of 295.5 okay and uh, so this will be symmetric on the two sides okay and before that, I will move this geometry slightly downwards like this. And uh, I will be making the pull command and I will make it no merge and up to this point. Okay, so this is the uh, our body of influence for outer domain like we created for inner domain. So I'm going to delete these two boundaries from here and uh, I will save this one as the BOI2 okay and delete anything which is not necessary here and uh, simply save the project file and uh, now import this uh, body of influence for making the density box in the ICM 3 because the body of influence is a term we use in the uh, workbench meshing but uh, for for making refinement of the any mesh in some particular volume zone but for the ICM CFD the name is the density box okay so import geometry and why I'm, I'm importing geometry before creating the surface mesh because I want to apply the uh, the the refinement in the in the in the particular volume in the density box also on surfaces so uh, when I create the density box before octree mesh, the octree mesh will refine the mesh on surfaces where we have the intersection between density box and the those domain boundaries. So import model and this is the BO, BO, BOI body of influence to open and uh, don't process the name selection and don't create a material point. Click and apply and uh, merge geometry with the existing geometry here. Okay, so you can see the geometry here. Now, as far as the uh, the the mesh for the density box is concerned, for the uh, coarse mesh, it is 0.12 and the 1.2 is the ratio. Uh, for medium mesh, it's the 0 0.08. For fine mesh, it's the 0 0.06. So we'll use a 0.12 for the coarse mesh, and uh, for that, I'm going to open the mesh menu. And from here density box and the size is again check it is the 0 0.12 and ratio is the 1.2 and keep the width as a zero okay so select the entity bound so select the surfaces and these all six boundaries one two three four five six okay so now press the middle mouse button and click and apply so now you can see density box is now created uh, but one thing I, I, I want to advise you that you can see the density box is created outside so if I delete these uh, surfaces or hide them for a time being and uh, use the points so and the point selection should be in the zigzag so i will show you first point and the second point okay and the third point should not be here means like you, you should not be uh, selecting them in a, in a loop but it should be zigzag so first second third here fourth here and similarly the fifth point sixth point again for seventh one go back here and eighth point okay and now apply 
so density box will be now to take the shape of the geometry like this okay and uh, now you can hide density box and you can delete these surfaces and I told you one technique that how you can delete the unwanted curves so once we delete the surfaces they will be unattached curve means they are not part of any surface and similarly for the points also same thing so simply select the un delete unattached they will be deleted and similarly for the points click on delete unattached and apply so we have the density box and density box has the size of 0.12 and ratio as a 1.2 okay and uh, you can make the lines wide you can change the density box color like this okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to apply the mesh sizing and uh, for the interface uh, surfaces it is going to be the 0 0.04 so point zero four so just let me confirm on the bottom surface select the surface so it's a point zero four and uh, display all boundaries okay so one two three four and the size here should be point four so point 0.4 and similarly for the outlet and also for the inlet okay display inlet and set the size as the point 0.4 okay now you can hide a uh, few boundaries from here uh, so that we can we can see the bond see the geometry from inside okay so we have we have put the size for the density box and uh, we put the size for the interfaces we have put the size for the uh, all outer boundaries so we have set the sizes for almost everything here so let me confirm uh, prism layer we will make at the end of the this uh, whole session okay so i'm going to make the mesh with the octree method because everything else is set so select the octree method and uh, select geometry all boundaries and click on compute okay so you can see that we have the mesh over here and it is a fine mesh uh, on the in the density box okay so i'm going to delete the delete the surface the volume mesh and uh, smooth surface mesh so make it laplace and without laplace and the end of the uh, loop before we stop should be the without Laplace. So observe that the quality is not changing, then you can stop uh, making the quality improvement. So last we got was 0.56. It's uh, still 0.56, so I will stop here and save the file. And again, go back to the meshing, and this time I'm going to make the mesh using the quick Denali method and click on compute. Okay, so I'm going to uh, edit the mesh and because this is a very small mesh, so I can uh, improve volume meshing as well. So let's try only one iteration for the Laplace smoothing and then without Laplace smoothing. Okay, so quality is 0 0.437857 and uh, I will go back to the meshing tab and from here I will select the prism. But before that, you have to enable the uh, prism layers development on the bottom surface. So select prism for the bottom and click on apply and dismiss. Okay, so now uh, also set the global mesh setup and uh, number of layers are three. And uh, now you can compute the mesh. Okay, so uh, now we are computing three prism layers and from three prism layers, we are going to make them as seven, not nine, but seven because for the fine mesh, for the medium mesh, the number of prism layers are seven on the ground. Okay, so now you can display the side two and check the mesh. So there are three layers now here. So I'm going to edit mesh from here. I will be editing the uh, prism mesh. 
so to make the seven layers basically what we should be doing is that uh, we should be splitting these layers into the uh, two two layers so two plus two will be two plus two plus three okay so number of layers are three and split only zero one okay okay for uh, number of uh, layers two for the one and two okay so we can now make the seven layers okay basically now after splitting we have the now this is the layer number one two three so i'm going to make the split on the one two three so four and five four comma five and apply so there should be seven layers one two three four five six okay so one two three four so in the four i'm going to make the two layers okay so one two three four five six seven okay now redistribute the prism uh, prism elements and uh, you can keep the ratio as a 1.5 so now this is okay okay and if you if you take a look on the mesh from the inside so you can click on the uh, manage cut plane and i will be showing the mesh on the middle x plane like this and uh, you can hide the density box now and display surfaces and display volume mesh so this is the how the mesh will look like over here okay okay now now save the project and uh, uh, from the output mesh we are going to select the solver as a fluent by, de by default and uh, as far as the boundary condition are concerned so i'm going to set the bottom as a wall you can see in the white color and uh, inlet as the velocity inlet okay you can display them so that you can see them while we are setting the sizes uh, the boundary types okay you can make them transparent so we have the boundary condition for inlet okay sim uh, similarly for the interface this is going to be the interface boundary condition and uh, for outlet this is going to be pressure outlet and for side one side two they are all going to be the symmetry so i will define boundary condition on the one boundary then i will copy and put them on all other boundaries which are the side two and top okay and uh, now you can again save the project and uh, you can output mesh for outer domain and this is the mesh number one that's a coarse mesh so put the name as outer and mesh one okay now we can uh, check the number of uh, sales here so from info and mesh info and the number of sales are uh, around uh, 4 lakh so 7 lakh and 4 lakh will be around 1 million okay so i'm going to open the fluent which we used for uh, importing the inner domain and uh, while you want to import the second domain or second mesh so we cannot use the file menu because this will replace the old mesh file here. So I I'm going to use append command and uh, I will click on the append case. And I will choose the second mesh which is the outer mesh. Okay, so I will be writing the file as the wind turbine, complete wind turbine mesh one. Okay, so it's a wind turbine and mesh one.
now as far as the boundary condition are concerned you can you can uh, organize them with uh, surface type like this and uh, now we can display the mesh here so you can hide interfaces and you can display let's say the side 2 and uh, you can display the bottom and you can display the outlet okay and uh, change the colors based on the type so surface type and display and if you want you can display the mesh lines also like this and for interfaces and uh, you I, I told you in the previous case that you can change the colors of the or you can even make them transparent in the from the view menu and compose so let's say for interface I choose outer faces no edges no lines no perimeter edges and uh, make it transparent maybe slightly some colors here and apply this is how it will look like okay and uh, the number of nodes or number of cells basically are around 1.13 so what I quote in the my slides it was 1.02 but here it is uh, 1.1.45 1 sorry 1.13 so 1.13 and uh, 1.05 0 02 it's nothing my difference because uh, basically what I did is that uh, for the interface the size uh, defined in the my previous case was 0 0.05 but here I defined the size as a point 0 for different this increase the number of cells in the surface and the nearby volume elements so that's why we see some difference of the mesh elements here okay so now with this we 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 have finished uh, making the meshing for inner domain and also for the outer domain and the next videos will be concerned with the setting a problem in the fluent importing meshes which we already did and then setting interfaces boundary conditions solvers and tabulous models time step and then run the simulation